Hey, this is Nick from Team Punisher. And I'm Richard as usual. So today, what are we looking at, Nick? Pistols again, buddy, pistols again. Pistols. 1911, everybody's favourite. The cult classic. Cult 45? Yeah. Classic, classic version. And the more extreme high capper, this is a WE Armour Works. WE again. Yeah, okay. Price wise, Richie, what was yours? £90, um, Tokyo Marie versions over the 120 I guess. Yeah, it's going to be, I expect. Uh, WE again, Armour Works, uh, this was just under 150 I believe. Came with a little reflex sight on the top, which I opted to leave off because I prefer it holstering without. It's easier. Cheaper um, magazines? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, WE. Um, oh, mind you saying that, the other reason I got this was because this will run on gas or CO2. So when you're playing those winter games and you want a reliable pistol, having the CO2 magazines makes the difference. It's quite good. Plus CO2 is just a little crisp, little snap on the on the trigger as well. Um, I think these are 25-ish for the magazines. About the same. Not very good in the winter time in England. Um, very, very thin magazine. Only 12 pellets in, whereas you've got about 24, 25. Yeah, yeah. Much bigger reservoir in there for gas. I find this takes a lot of filling, even though it's such a small magazine. And uh, I got this to go with my Thompson, going for a kind of Second World War look. But then, again, being a kind of Chris Carl fan, um, he had one of these when his P226 got hit. So uh, his family bought him a custom one, apparently. So I like this. Captain America fan. Love Very this as well. Yeah, it's classic. It yeah. really is. Uh, mine's the opposite end of the spectrum with all the shiny drippings and chiselled metal bits and half slide and upgraded internals and fluted magwell and all the stippling fluorescent sights blah 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 <laughs> yeah so i guess really should we have a little shoot that's well, boring yeah we can have a little shoot you've got a cop this one it's not like the pt 26 where you just pull the trigger give a little go yeah let's do Good. it target there Ooh. and there's me as well <laughs> yeah bearing in mind these are we as well so we, we tend to find that the the whole pistol aspects WE tends to be not as good as makes like TM, just better quality all round. Plastic slide on the TM version of this. Yeah, that, as well. that means again you get more gas efficiency because it's not cycling the big heavy metal upper. So, yeah, it's horses for courses. And these, I mean, for £90, that's an absolute bargain. That's a great pistol. But if I could do it again, I'd buy the TM one. And this is my second one of these. The first one broke. Yeah, so, I'd probably yeah. say the same to be honest. Yeah. I only bought the, the WE version because I had the magazines. I'd have to start again with the TM, they're not interchangeable, <laughs> so that's not good. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you have a look at all our other pistol videos that we're doing and hopefully it gives you an inspiration of what type of pistol you might like depending on your gameplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cost, budget, whether it takes your fancy, if it feels right. Again, for me, one of the things I wanted to mention was, because I've got small hands, you know, I really struggle with certain things. The Desert Eagle I feel I find massive, and my P26, again, I find that quite a big grip in my hand. But this is nice, and my PX4, again, fits and it's adjustable. My Glock fits nicely. Things to think about when you're looking for your pistol. But ultimately, you need to own it and you need to game it before you know if you love it or not. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.